All right, hello everyone. Um, I finally hit a jackpot. I got a revenge raid. It is Bobby O's base. And I'm just running this in normal speed since it was a good raid. But uh, um, I went ahead and went on YouTube and I typed in Bobby O, got nothing. I tried Bobby O raid, got nothing. And then I hit uh, Bobby O raid LDOE. And I got uh, some somebody, another YouTuber, had did this base before. And uh, she managed to hit the right spot right away. So I already, you know, knew wh where to go. And, and I knew this was a jackpot right away. So, of course, I go straight for it. And it's right here. Whoops. And two floppies along with uh, what I need to just about get another floppy. I don't do the best job of evading the uh, waves on this one, but whatever. I'm going to go ahead, just like she did, and I'm going to use up the uh, spikes here. Save my gun. And I'm switching over to these so I can die quicker. Although I have spikes, so I don't have to starve to death here. So, that guy's done, and I'm going to head back in. So, um, the, uh, the, the person that raided this base, I believe her name was Michelle Gamble, um, she pretty much came right in here and she blew the center section here and that's all she did. Um, I'm really low on C4 and I was planning on just doing exactly what she did, but just for the sake of helping other YouTubers, I decided to go a little bit further. So I went ahead and brought uh, a third C4 just to explore the space a little bit more just in case there was something else. And I did it did pay off a little bit, so you'll see that at the end, but for right now, I'm going to go ahead and stash this stuff. Um, three floppies. I mean, that stuff's almost enough to get three flop. Well, actually, might be enough to get three floppies in its own right. 27 dog tags is quite a bit, even though the notebooks are a little low, but uh, three floppies on a raid is a really, really good raid, in addition to all the other things I get. So... I'm going to go ahead and pop open this little core here. And I noticed uh, right away that some of the things in this base were a little bit different than what she had. Um, for example, there was a tree growing in the center. Here I am getting stuck again. I'm doing a pretty crappy job of that. Uh, there's a tree growing right in that central core area on, on her run, and she had to chop it down to get the uh, chest, but I did not get the tree. And I noticed that some of the loot inside the chest was also slightly different. The, since, this, since the raids have started sucking, I've started going to YouTube more often, so I'm just starting to notice you know, the, the differences in the bases. But that's, that's kind of interesting how the cha there's you know, little changes to this stuff. I mean, for the most part, it's identical, but I've, I've seen things in raids where there's, like, some weapons that are missing and, you know, things like that. So, Scar and a Python and some boots. I don't think the boots were in hers. Little SWAT shoes. And three Glocks, a shotgun and a zip gun. And some melee, so... Two katanas, uh, machete, sable mace, yada, yada, yada. And in here, we have some armor and a military backpack. So that's pretty cool. Um, there's definitely enough stuff just in this room right here that I could fill up and be very happy with. Um, but I, I definitely wanted to explore a little bit more and just see what else the space might have to offer. 
Uh, had I did this base without watching that video, I might not have gone in where she went in. I mean, it, it kind of made sense. I might have done it. I, I don't really know, but usually you try to dig in deep and get toward, straight to the core, and that's what she did. So I might have did that, but I'm going to go ahead and die here. Uh, you could just die off the spikes. Um, I went ahead and went the starvation method just because I had to go do something in the middle of my raid. So I ran off and did it. Came back and I was dead. So uh, I am going to take these, even though they are there on the base. I, I didn't want to have to open up the chest to get them. So just to play it safe in case I wanted to play with a big one. Any, uh, I went ahead and took that. And I do not need to take a military backpack because I have one there. So, you know, the least amount of stuff I can take back, the better. Uh, I was thinking about bringing another axe because I was kind of losing track of what I had there, but I uh, was pretty certain that I had enough. So, And I'll go ahead and take out my three floppies. And I'll just stash those for now, and I'll, I went back later to clean them up. Bam, bam, bam. And back to the base we go. Second thoughts, thinking about it, thinking about it. Let's go, 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 go. Okay. I always wonder what I'm forgetting and I forget things all the time. So that's just me being extra careful. Okay, so we're back. And I do make a pretty awful mistake um, with my editing here. So there's a chunk of this that's going to be coming up where I forgot to hit the record button again after I paused it. And unfortunately, that part will be missing. But uh, I continue on with the base so you can still see what was going on. So I'm taking my C4, getting geared up here. And I'm going to go ahead and grab that military backpack so I can continue. And I was thinking about putting the armor on, and I'm like, no, I better go ahead and use this for the waves, for the third wave that is yet to come. So I'll grab this stuff. Zip guns are kind of like, they were very useful early on with Recycler. They're still, just depends on what you got going on, but they're not as good anymore, especially since they nerfed the uh, rewards for them. And I'm going to go ahead and take some stuff to the chopper. And that's going to be the uh, VSS Scar Python, and was going to do a Katana, but remembered that Glocks are a little bit more valuable than a Katana, at least to me. And this is where I missed the entire big chunk here, but I blew a hole in the wall, and I found uh, circuits and phones and two stacks of cameras, which is really nice for lenses. Um, I also found hammers. Oh, you'll see that here. This is the part where I just skipped a whole chunk here. So I went ahead and used my shotgun. I, the big one came, and sorry, I really screwed that up, but um, you'll still get to see where I went in and did everything. And while I was missing on that recording, I was showing you guys what was in the other chest that I didn't bother to take, so I'll try to point that out here as we go in. Uh, I, I go in a couple times here, so it's, I'll try to point everything out. So the first chest on your left here uh, had coal. This one had food and some a stack of raw turkey. So engine parts. So I don't know why that just did that. And the black chest that's in the couch area over there had med kits and some first aid supplies and stuff. So that's what I didn't bother to open up to save enough noise to do what I'm doing here. 
Sorry, this is going kind of fast. And so the three engine parts are very nice. I'm getting really, really close to 200. I still don't know if they're going to change the recipe on that. I mean, even with 200 engine parts, it could take forever to get the transmission. And not to mention the skill, so. And this one didn't have anything. And I didn't bother to soften up those other two. I didn't want to take a lot of chances on this one since the loot was so good. Oh, wow. This thing is really cutting out. And that's about it, I believe. Um, I always like to run him off, even though I think I'm done far away, just in case I change my mind. So I got all a whole bunch of guns. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, plus the shotgun in my hand right here. You don't see the engine parts, the cameras for the lenses, the cir uh, circuits, all the tickets, and those three hammers. I'm always needing hammers now with these melee upgrades. I also got three pieces of armor and my military backpack. And in addition to all that, I also got three circuits, or three floppies. So quite a good haul uh, for a revenge raid. I mean, nowadays revenge raids supposedly are way better than normal ones anyway, so I guess that's to be expected. But I don't get a lot of revenge raids, so I, um, this made me very happy. Um, and then uh, I also want to add, I finally got my first big bone from uh, the Ravager on the last farm I did. Um, I have been working really hard at saving up my guns, so I've stopped putting full quality guns in here. And in about a week's time, I've got an entire trunk full um, saved up. I've got a trunk full of melee weapons saved up. Just I haven't been farming zones as much. Um, just trying to kind of resupply, and it it goes pretty quick if you just if you hold off on non-stop zone farming and just do your events and do the bare minimum in the bunker and all that stuff and if you're just careful about it in no time you'll resupply on all these 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 uh, critical items for the recycler um so while i was uh wait holding off on firearms i'd still throw i was throwing in uh low low durability or um, used up weapons and firearms here and there but i've also been throwing in melee weapons which has taken forever even though it's only 10 minutes it's just hard to like tend to this thing every 10 minutes and i've also been throwing in uh, my engine parts and generators so i'm already up to 40 in mechanics that thing's going pretty fast um since i finally got to 40 i wanted to find out uh what the rewards were for 40 so um, this is me pulling the melee weapon back out and trying out another gener uh, generator And here's one. I've yet to get an engine part from any of these things. Um, but I'll be at level 50 pretty soon. I mean, you get just about one level every two of these you throw in. So still only 12%. And I think that's about it. Uh, I don't think I show anything else. Uh, yeah. That was it for that video. Um, so, hope you enjoyed. If you get Bobby O, that is definitely a great raid. Um, and maybe you can try using up a C4 to blow somewhere else and see if you find something else good in the space because this is definitely a winner. Um, and I think that's it. I'm about to head off and try the farm again. The uh, the farm is a great place. It, it's where you go to get melee mods. You probably ever, everybody probably already knows that, um, which I'm definitely in need of. Um, so I've, I've, I guess the only other thing to add is since the last update, I have yet to get a single mod from farming zones. I've haven't been doing that as hardcore as I have been, but I don't know if they changed something and other people are also experiencing that, but uh, that's been kind of crappy, especially since I haven't been putting in full uh, durability guns in the recycler. I just have not got any blueprints in forever. So uh, that's it, guys. I will see you on the next one. All right. Bye-bye.